We've been talking the last several episodes about the gospel. Mm -hmm. We went over the points of the gospel. Like Mm -hmm. if you're going to understand the gospel, you need to understand these things. And we taught on each of them. Yeah. And now we're talking about our restoration, Mm -hmm. which comes by repenting and believing. Yeah. Um, Believing and repenting. Yeah. The two together. Um, when the gospel is presented in simplicity and clarity and people respond to it, things happen. Yes. People are saved. What do we mean by that? They become new creations in Christ Jesus. The life of God comes into them and completely changes them from the inside out. What else happens? Bodies are healed. We were recently in a, a place preaching the gospel, and there was a, a lady there. She was listening, and at the end of the message, she basically jumped up and came quickly for prayer. Pray for me. I'm going to be healed. She had screws mm-hmm. and rods in her hip, and I don't remember why. I don't think she told us why, um, but she had metal rods and screws in her hip, which caused her pain. And um, she had so much confidence that she was going to be healed in that moment. Why? Because the gospel was preached. Yeah. What we've been talking about, go back a few episodes and Mm -hmm. and listen. Um, The message that we preach, the message that she heard, she responded to it. We prayed for her and... She began to jump up and down Mm -hmm. because she believed that the Lord was healing her. And she was completely healed. All the pain left her body. And this is pain that she lived with for years Mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Pain that never, you know, went away all the way. It was always there. Um, And I recently reached out to the people there and asked, how is she doing? She is still pain free. The gospel is the power of God unto salvation, unto healing, unto deliverance, preservation, safety, wholeness. Mm -hmm. As you respond to it, as you repent and embrace Jesus, he comes to live inside of you and everything that he is comes to live inside of you. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Praise God. So... Luke 24 is a scripture we've been going to. Now listen to what Jesus said. Verse 46, he says, Then he said to them, And thus it is written, And thus it was necessary for the Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and Mm -hmm. that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Now notice, The substitutionary work of Christ, that gospel message declares all your sins are forgiven. All your diseases are healed because he paid the price. However, you have to believe that. You have to turn from what you've been doing and come to him and accept that gift of salvation. Now, let me, well, let me point it out to you from this angle. Isaiah 53, listen carefully. Verse 4. Five and six. Listen to what it says. It says, surely, I'm going to read it to you uh, in the New American Standard, verse four and five. It says, however, it was our sicknesses that he himself bore and our pains that he carried, yet we ourselves assumed that he had been afflicted, struck down by God and humiliated. But he was pierced for our offenses. He was crushed for our wrongdoings. The punishment for our well-being was laid upon him. And by his stripes or by his wounds, we were healed or healed. We are healed. But listen to verse 6. This is the reason why he had to go through it. Listen to what it says. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. Mm. but the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Now listen carefully to me. 
God didn't lay on him our iniquity so we could continue in iniquity. We have to repent of iniquity, then come to Christ who bore our iniquity and was punished for it. It's kind of like this. Um, Here's a phone, but let's pretend like it's a hammer. And I accidentally hit my thumb while I'm hammering a nail. I hit my thumb. Then I could go to the Lord and say, Lord, please. Forgive me, I'm in a lot of pain. He'll heal me. Just like that. Hallelujah. He's good. However, if I go like this, Lord, heal me. Heal me. And I don't stop hammering my thumb, he's not going to heal me. Because even if he did, it's 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 wounded immediately right after that. Okay? So that's why repentance is necessary, my mm. friend. Jesus on the cross took our sin and the judgment of our sin so that we could be forgiven and cease from sinning. So you can't have this in your mind, well, I'm just going to ask him to forgive me while I continue to sin. It doesn't work that way. So that's why Jesus said it was necessary that the, that the Christ would suffer and rise from the dead and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name. Amen. Hallelujah. So it's like, it's a change. Yeah. It's a change of direction. Yeah. From your own way to God's way. That's right.